Corn mean bit. for this to happen. No. I'm not really even a Starbucks fan. Of course we didn't plan this <laughs> out, but you guys have seen it online. There it is, the unicorn frappuccino. Earlier this week, it was, uh, you know, kind of blew up on social media. It features pink powder blended with mango syrup and sour blue drizzle. Yeah, and the drink starts purple with blue swirls and tastes sweet and fruity, but once you mm. stir it, the drink becomes pink, tangy, and tart. Yummy. A lot of people are saying it tastes like sweet tarts. I'd, I'd prefer... Or nerds. Liquid yeah. nerds, I also read. How about not? I mean, they, That's like, not enjoyable. Yeah, <laughs> you could not drink it, too. Uh, now, while the drink could set you back a couple dollars, it's going to do the same with a few hundred calories there. 500 calories. It's the equivalent of eating six donuts. So, of course... Wouldn't you rather have six donuts? Absolutely. <laughs> like, without question? Absolutely. It's also a 70 Six grams of sugar, that's more than double of your sugar intake for the day. So uh, there it is. If you don't have other reason to go drink it, there it is. It's now, selling now out in know. Starbucks around uh, the country. You have until Sunday to try your unicorn frappuccino. Hey, do you, you know? <laughs> do it. All right, so despite the fact that it is socially taboo to ask others how much money they make, mm -hmm. a handful of companies are sharing their employees' salaries with everyone on the payroll. It might seem kind of awkward, but these companies argue it's the best way of doing business. So how much money do you make, Teresa? We're, I don't know if that's appropriate to talk about right well, now. Well, why not? I mean, we're talking <laughs> about it on, on the show. I mean, we should share But if it. you knew what your coworkers were making, would it motivate you more or would no. it just make you mad? I think it would make me very mad. A lot of animosity. <laughs> like, uh, are you kidding me? <laughs> yeah, I'm like, I do more work than he or she. Why am I not getting paid? Or You know, they got this raise or that. Uh, but I, I also could see where it could motivate people to say, hey, that guy's making that much. I could do that better or something right. along those lines. Yeah. So but either way. I mean, if you know that there is opportunity for growth or raises or a, an opportunity to get a raise, I could see where that would be good. Right. It would motivate people. But on the flip side, it could I just... I think it would cause some uh, workplace animosity for sure. Do people ever ask you that? Because I've had people ask me. When I go me, to elementary schools, it's usually what much. the little, little kids always yeah. say. Do you think, oh, you're on TV, you're you a millionaire. Must, yeah, whatever. you're a movie yeah. star. How, how do you Not answer? Quite. I mean, what do you... You I say? always just say not enough. No, not enough. <laughs> Isn't okay, that the right. status uh, quo answer I, I, there? I think the funniest thing is when fellow coworkers tell me how much other people make, and I'm like, how, how do you know <laughs> how, how much somebody out? made? I mean, that's like the awkward. I, I don't know how the cat gets out of the bag on Go that. Go figure. <laughs> All right, so researchers in Scotland have found that being creative or funny helps make average-looking men more attractive to women. That's not the situation with you. Oh, thanks. <laughs> how about these guys? All right, let's break it down here, Teresa. Tell okay. me, Kevin. Hart, Jimmy Kimmel, we got Jim Carrey in here somewhere, maybe he's up next, but you'll see, there he is, Jim, uh, Jim Carrey. Have you ever seen a comedian that is just hot, that you're like, this is the funniest guy in the world, and I want to marry him and have his children? Have, have, has anyone ever said that? Uh, no. No. Do you, do, no. Are, are you attracted to any of those guys? No. Any comedians? I'm trying to think. I think they're funny, but I don't think they're overly attractive. How about if a guy's more funny? More funny, you know what I'm saying? Like that if, definitely if, helps. Right. I mean, you could overlook some things. Like, say, if I worked at Crate and Barrel or Dairy Queen, like, would that I be as attractive? Doesn't matter, but no? if you're funny and you have a nice personality, then that helps. Absolutely. Okay. See, I I think from the guy's perspective, either there's like good-looking dudes, right. or there's goofy guys like me. Like, you, you can't be good-looking and goofy. You could have a little goofy. of both. Maybe Gil Simmons. I think he might be the only human who has a little bit of both. But <laughs> but for women, it's actually the opposite. Uh, this study says that if you're an average-looking woman and you're funny and witty, guys think that you're less attractive. It works against you. Why is that? I don't know. Creative women with less attractive faces seem to be penalized in some way. That's from a researcher at Alberta University. I like my funny girls. I like laughing. I think that it's so important. I mean, yeah. your looks aren't going to last forever. Yeah, when you're 95 on your deathbed, you want somebody you funny. Back, right, have fun with them. You don't want to sit around and say, oh, they were hot, you know, 30 years, years ago. ago. They were good looking. <laughs> All right. All you uh, dog fans today mm -hmm. will appreciate this next story, uh, especially you with Sid. Yeah. Uh -huh. Well, that look that uh, you get when the dogs do something wrong, like those puppy eyes, puppy dog eyes, well, it might oh. be inspired by wolves. Yep. When a dog does something bad and then responds by bowing their head and looking at you with sad eyes, it might be using a complex survival tactic which evolved from wolves. Wow. How about the tongue out? Does that, <laughs> that evolve counts from too, as well? Yeah, biologists from the city, <laughs> University of New, New York, say that this type of thing happens all the time in wild wolf packs. And when wolves do something wrong, they're rejected from the pack. So that, hey, there's a little science for you today. I do the same thing after most shows because she yells at me. I and she's, that never... was a terrible show, Ryan. <laughs> and I, That's sorry. not true at all. I usually like to do baked goods. If I know I'm in trouble, I'll leave some brownies. That's or... the trick. 
Oh, I've never gotten any baked goods. You know, Monday, I, I expect some brownies. You really get that mad at me, do you? No, of course not. No. But this